It's vlogging at 1,068, which is how many megabits my RAM has. Good morning. It is Wednesday, I think, and I'm gonna bounce on down to Good News Coffee for my coffee. And you know, I had a cookie yesterday, but the cookies at Good News Coffee—they're like double or triple chocolate cookies. Mm. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm mildly obsessed. It's kind of amazing that I don't make my way down there more often for them. But it's over by the Eiffel Tower. It's on the other side of the Eiffel Tower. So to go to the extremes today, from the east side of the city with Paulin Rombo yesterday to the west side of the city with Good News today, figured you know. Just because you made the mistake of choosing to stay by the Eiffel Tower doesn't mean you have to pay for it. And I also recognize there are people out there that love staying by the Eiffel Tower. So for those of you that want to stay by the Eiffel Tower, here's some local homegrown coffee for you. But if you check out my guide, I do say that uh, staying near the Eiffel Tower is not what I would recommend just because it's so far away from everything else you're gonna wanna see and do in the city that it doesn't, it makes for a lot longer commute times when you could be spending that time appreciating the beauty of, you know, the Louvre or something. Anyways, let's hop on the metro and uh, we'll be there shortly. Ugh, that was good. Got a little bit of work done. I finally downloaded Scrivener, which is a writing application that you can have on your computer, your phone even apparently. It's great for organizing your work. I have a lot of friends that use it and I've wanted it for a long time and my sister actually got it for my birthday a long time ago and I just never downloaded it because I'm a putz. So I was always like, I'll just wait till my next project. I think I have a project I can work on that it'll work for. Let's just jump out in traffic here. So now, oh, here's a door. Just gotta use it. It didn't take long to remember why However, writing in coffee shops is terrible. Well, here's the thing, there's a, there's a really glorious element to writing in a coffee shop that, but I pretty quickly remembered, you know, why I'm really excited to be getting an office so that I can focus and, uh, and get some writing done. Good news is a great spot to go. Just looking forward to having some, some space and some quiet to write, but I do miss spending time sitting in coffee shops writing. I just miss writing in general. I can't wait to get back to it. It's gonna be really, really good. So anyways, Sat with Fox, who's the owner. They're gonna be making a cool little promotional video here soon, which I'm looking forward to seeing the result of. And he even shared, they have some cold brew. He shared some of their fresh cold brew with me. That was really good. It reminded me that cold brew exists and I definitely need to get a little bit more of that in my life here as it's increasingly available around town. So I'm gonna go over by the Eiffel Tower, check it out, see how things are coming together. Uh, on my way to Zia, another place that's in the game for their lunch, because why not go from coffee straight to lunch as, uh, as you do? Maybe I'll work there a little bit, but there's a good chance that I'll probably just go. See, so let's just go. I gotta, I gotta focus on not dying here for a second, hold on. where they had the end of the zip line. They had a zip line that ran, uh, that actually like came off the Eiffel Tower and ran all the way down here. And I applied, or I, you know, entered my name into the hat to get to do it and I didn't get it unfortunately, but maybe next time they do it, I'll get to do the zip line off the Eiffel Tower. Anyways, that's kind of what I would guess all this construction is about, but let's jump over here and just go for a ride in the Chant de Mars. Actually, just in, <gasps> there's a new Space Invader. I gotta get that Space Invader. Hold on a second. Uh, after getting this new Space Invader, he's cute, he's got a little French flag. I'm actually gonna get lunch first because I really want one of those breakfast burritos from Zia and uh, I'm hungry. I'm actually really hungry and then 
we can go for a little ride on the Champ de Mars afterwards and maybe spend a little time over by the river. But look at this new spice inviter. All right, lunch, and if we're lucky, Justin will be there. He's the owner of the restaurant, and he might be willing to take us to look at his new place and see how the demolition is coming along. Maybe they've even started construction. I don't know, it's been a while since we've been there, so it'll be interesting to see how far that's come along. But I'm most excited for food right now. Like, that, it's the, it's the food that I, it's, I'm hungry. Tasty. I've eaten really well today. Whew. And had, I think, my fill of avocados for a while too. At least for today. That was really good. Nice to chat with Justin for a little bit. Update. Uh, there's not really much to see that's changed. They've been working on plans. Running a little bit behind, unfortunately, so there's a little stress there. But they're working on the plans. He's really happy with the, the way that things are turning out and looking. And it'll keep us posted and hopefully we'll get to go check that out in the not too distant future because it'd be pretty fantastic, you know, to see that restaurant come together finally. Hoping to open in September. We'll see if that works out or not. But yeah, I just want to bounce around here for a minute now. Check out Les Invalides and then head back towards the Eiffel Tower just to take some beautiful footage because we can't. I just met Lena, who you'll see in the comments from time to time with her daughter. They're very lovely. And they gave me a hint for one more Space Invader. And then the Space Invader portion of today's video will be effectively over. And I'll go, I'll go, I'll actually go shoot, take a couple shots at the Eiffel Tower for those of you that are craving that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. It's a very scattered day, I realize. I'm very I, scattered brain to go with it. So, let's figure this out. Of course, if you're curious to see some of these photos that I'm taking, I'm gonna just put a whole bunch of them in my Instagram stories because that's what Instagram stories are for. If you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, please go do that. I mean, if you've made it this far into the video anyways, might as well. I, it's, it's mildly entertaining. I can promise you that much. Instagram self promo insert over. Sorry about that. Just, just wanted to throw that in there. This is, of course, the right time to be in Paris for the picnic season, which is why I want to get on the picnic game. It's been so, like, dreary for the last month now that it's starting to get sunny and the park is open, like, the grass at Champ de Mars is open so you can use it. Have a nice little picnic. Not a bad spot to end up. And it's a place, I mean, this is a place that locals don't usually end up, which is unfortunate because, you know, it's actually really nice out here. I recommend it. Come have a picnic. Zia does picnic baskets. I'm gonna do a picnic basket thing with him sometime soon just to show you that. I, I want to experience it. I want to have one of his fancy picnic baskets. So if you're looking to have a picnic, of course you can look up Zia for that as well. The place that I was just at for lunch. Get your lunch to go. Ready made for you. Not a bad way to go. But of course, good news and Zia in the game. Check them out at travelunlock.com. I'm gonna go find a couple more space invaders that Laura sent to me when she found out that I was over here filming today. She had a couple that I don't have, including a giant Elvis. And I got the wheel, and uh, my legs are getting a little ready for a break, but I'm gonna get those first, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for another day bouncing around Paris. And uh, oh yeah, some more spreadsheets tomorrow. Huzzah, we'll find, we'll find a way to make it interesting, don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow for that.